Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Uh, this would be a real treat. This is Green, Green Flash's Hop Odyssey Black IPA. Guys, I'm a big fan of Green Flash's beers. Uh, I've had the Pallet Wrecker, the West Coast IPA, and several others uh, that they do. Not had a bad one from these guys. And this is a great big bottle. Parrish sent me, uh, sent me this beer. I have not seen this particular version here. There's only one or two places uh, that I can go that carries uh, carries this beer. My go-to beer store down at Kroger's doesn't carry any Green Flash beer, so I have to go to a beer specialty shop, and it's about 30 miles away. And I don't get up there as often as I used to. I've told you all that several times. Uh, I used to have a real good working relationship with those people, but that kind of went by the wayside. So I don't get up there as often as I used to and, and pick up some of these uh, more rare beers uh, on the, here in Virginia that come from the come from the West Coast. So uh, this is their <clears throat> this is their Hop Odyssey, and this is the big bottle. It's one pint, six fluid ounces. I've not seen any Green Flash beers in this big of a bottle. Most of them are in their little twelve ounce bottles. Uh, this has a Best Buy of 072114, and this is only March, so I'm I'm thinking this is pretty damn fresh. So Paris. Thanks again, brother, for sending me these beers. You are awesome. All the beer mail packages I've been getting from you, uh, uh, I mean, it blows a lot of the subscribers away. It blows me away that you send this many beers to me. I do want you to know I do appreciate it, brother. You are number one in my book. Uh, uh, if I could give you a handshake and a hug, I'd give you one right back there, brother. Uh, Green Flash is out of San Diego, California. Uh, they use a lot of Northwest hops in their beers, which gives it a definite West Coast style with the pine and grapefruit and pineapple taste, and I love it. Uh, I like everything that they do. Uh, not had a bad one from these guys. Commercial description on this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. This American style black IPA is nearly jet black and perceived to have a high hop bitterness, flavor, and aroma with medium high alcohol content. Balance with a medium body. The appearance may trick you into thinking you're about to enjoy a traditional stout beer when in fact your sensors are about to be overwhelmed with our black IPA. Juicy fruit, floral, and pine from Pacific Northwest hop gives the beer a classic West Coast IPA hop character. That's exactly what I just said. The black IPA is further characterized by a balanced and moderate degree of caramel malt and subdued dark rose malt flavor and aroma. 7.2 percenter. The hops they use on this is Warrior, Citra, and Cascades. Uh, IBUs on this beer are 85. Food pairings for this beer. Uh, it says none yet. And the, and the reason it says none yet is because it's not technically a style. Black IPA is not recognized uh, in the style guidelines uh, as a style yet, but it's coming, trust me. Uh, it will be added before too long, I am sure. If not this year, next year, because there are so many breweries doing a black IPA. And basically what that is, is your typical IPA, and they're chucking in some, some darker roasted malt or some black malt to give it that color, which, which infuses it with a little chocolate, a little coffee, a little cocoa, a little brown sugar, a little caramel. So it adds another dimension to the typical IPA. Glassware, the pint, Becker, the Nonic, the Tumbler, the Mug, the Stein, the Seidel, oversized wine glass. I could have got the Dougal glass for this, but I'm going to use the pint glass. Uh, 
This beer is not recommended for extended salaring, even though it's a 7.2 percenter. It will keep, but the hops are going to fade over time, guys. So you want to you want to consider this just like an IPA, even though it's a black IPA. You want uh, you want to drink it as fresh as possible. So with that being said, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. So without further ado, let me get the bottle opener here and get the cap off of this big bottle. I know the other half is going to enjoy the other half of this. So Parrish, thanks again, brother. You the man. Let's get a little bit of head on. Get down the center here. Nice big bottle. Look at that. Good two fingers of head on that aggressive pour. It looks like a stout in the glass, doesn't it? It sure do. All right, over into the light. It is not black. It is a rich ruby color. Uh, deep red, almost looks like an imperial red ale in the glass. Very dark red, and I can see the bulb through there. A lot of bubble streaming up. It looks very well carbonated, as the, uh, the head is evident of that. Very good looking beer in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Wow. If you're blindfolded, the first thing that hits you is the hot presence. I mean, Definitely uh, West Coast style with the pine and the grapefruit and pineapple. And then you get the second whiff there where you get the, the roasted malt and the caramel. And maybe a hint of cocoa in there too. Wow. Awesome smelling beer. But the hops are so pungent. I love it. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Parrish. Oh, wow. Not been disappointing from these guys from Green Flash. And this is not disappointing either. They got it going on. They really do. Very pungent hop profile on this. And a nice dark caramel, dark roasted malt taste. Adds another dimension to your typical IPA. This beer would go extremely well with your typical IPA cheeses, your, your pepper jack sharp. Blue, cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, even Gorgonzola and Limburger. The meat would be grilled meat, uh, game, stronger dishes, uh, chicken, chops, steaks, burgers, pizza. And it's got enough chocolatey, chocolateness in there that, uh, although I'm going to say it's go well with, with uh, dessert, but there's such a, there's such a bitterness and a uh, pininess, it, it, it might not go well with a uh, like chocolate cake or something like that. It has such a large hot profile that it might not pair well with your chocolate dishes. So, But who am I to tell you that? If you'd like a black IPA with your dessert, do it. That's what I say. Blows your hair back and, and makes your socks pop off. <laughs> do it. That's what I say. Alright guys, uh, it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees, we're going to let it warm up just a little bit. Not too warm, but up to 55, 60 degrees and sip on it a little while. Might fire up a cigar to go with it. Let the other half taste it. More than likely, she'll get a glass of this too. So I'll be right back shortly here and uh, we'll do the final chug and grade on this one. Looks pretty damn impressive to me though. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. I really like this beer. Don't think it's quite to the... Uh, 10 scale, but it is an awesome black IPA. Very nice hot profile. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of, uh, of, uh, of uh, roasted malt, slight hint of cocoa. Very decent. I mean, uh, very enjoyable. Uh, no alcohol taste at all on this beer now that it's warmed up. It's uh, just as delightful as it was when it was fresh out of the fridge. So 
Let's do the final chug here on this one. Very easy drinking for a 7.2 percenter. Very sessionable. Big bottle. Parish, uh, you might uh, want to put in the comments what a bottle like this costs. Uh, I don't know how expensive it is in California. Uh, I would estimate that this bottle probably being twice the size of a regular bottle is going to be twice the price. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing probably between uh, just, to, just to throw a number out there, I'd say it's probably somewhere between 7 to $10 for a bottle this size. So give me some comments back on this one and what this bottle costs Paris. And uh, very tasty. It's definitely worth picking up and giving it a try, especially if you like a black IPA, guys. It's uh, very tasty. I'm going to give it... Uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's it's pretty damn tasty. It's got the best by date on it. It's got all the information you need on the label here, the ABV. I wish they'd put the IBUs on it so you'd know that, but it's uh, it's tasty. I enjoyed it. Thanks again, Parrish, for sending it to me. It was tasty, just like all the rest of the beers you've sent to me. Uh, you have excellent taste in beers, uh, brother. Uh, Pretty much the same as I do. Uh, I like picking up good beers. Don't like spending good money for bad beers. So uh, kind of disappointing when you go out and, and, and you spend your hard-earned money uh, for a beer that you don't like, or, or uh, spend uh, your money for a beer that's either a drain pour or or something that you wouldn't buy again. So kind of do a little homework before you buy your beers and. Uh, Maybe you won't get stuck with too many of them that you don't like. So, uh, pretty tasty, guys. Uh, definitely worth picking up. Let's see what everybody else thinks about it. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. And Beer Advocate says 88 in a very good range. It is a very good beer, but those aren't very good numbers to me. I think it's definitely in the 90s, guys. Uh, uh, even in the low 90s would be okay, but they've got it into the 80s, which is in, into the B category. If I was to put a number on this, it would it would be between 96 and 98, probably, guys. It's a, it's pretty tasty for a black IPA. I like the West Coast style, like they do out there. A really nice, hot, pungent pine grapefruit, pineapple. I mean, you're getting all that from the hops that they use. That comes from the Northwest out there. Very very fertile uh, hop growing area out there in the northwest uh, which is probably a good thing since it's uh, kind of rainy and cloudy and they do get some good days out there but it's uh, good for growing things out there uh, it really is a lot of moisture and uh, a lot of rain that uh, makes makes all that stuff grow pretty good so all right guys let's go over to uh, rape beer rape beer oh, no this is more like it Rate Beer says 97 overall and 91 in the style. I don't know uh, why the style numbers are down, but uh, I think it fits the style pretty well. They could have a little more roasted malt or something in there, but uh, they'll tweak the recipe probably. It, uh, I don't think this one's been out too awful long. I have not seen this one here where I can get some of the Green Flash beers, but I've not seen any of the Green Flash beers in this big of a bottle before. So, Very tasty, guys. Uh, 9 out of 10 for me tonight on this one. Paris, thanks again, brother. I appreciate it. If you've had this one, guys, give me some comments back on this one, whether you liked it, didn't like it. And if you're into the black IPAs and you see this one, pick it up, give it a try. Hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe, as always. And let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See everybody then.